40 numbers in my phone. Numbers that I'll never call again. Teammates who never made it home. They belong to men like Adam, Nate, Swanee, Diaz. Men I served with. Dead men. Teen guys. The first time I saw a friend die, it was the seminal experience of my life. Last time I saw a friend die, it was the seminal experience of my life. I nearly saw three more friends die last year. Sonny, Clay, Ray. With Bravo reunited for the first time in months, I wonder which brother will be the next I can't call. I can't think about it. But one by one, two by two, the numbers keep growing. I scroll through my phone, I see their names. I remember the things that happened. Lately, I can't put it away. I can't bury it. 18 years of sustained combat. War takes a toll, and not just in blood. Our spouses, our children, our mental health. All collateral damage in our fight to defend our country. Some call it sacrifice. I call it a choice. The truth is, I'm a better warrior than husband or father. And I need to be. More of my brothers won't be home. So why do it? Put ourselves through it? Why keep coming back? It's only one reason. Each other. Because we're brothers. nation expects me to be physically harder and mentally stronger than my enemies. If I get knocked down, I will get back up every time. I will draw on every remaining ounce of strength to protect my teammates and to accomplish our mission. I'm never out of the fight. We demand discipline. We expect innovation. The lives of our teammates and the success of our mission depends on me. Our training, our training is never complete. We train for war, we fight to win. I stand ready to bring you full spectrum of combat power to bear in order to achieve my mission and the goals established by my country. What can I say about Brett Swan that we don't already know? Brett was a, he was a great man. Check. To me, this moment isn't about Brett. It's about failure. Brett took his own life. That's not why his life is over. 
He was found in a parking lot, but he didn't die there. He died in Afghanistan with his best friend, Nikki. Every moment that Brett was living past that contact, he was only sleepwalking. Because he was hurt and he was changed. I know because I was there for the last few months of his life. So he, was, he was helping me, and he did help me. Brett Swan was a hero. Injured in combat, killed by war. And he deserved to be honored as such. And that didn't happen because I failed to make it happen. So, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave it up to some other people to talk about what kind of a man Brett was. What I'd like to do is apologize. I'm sorry our country failed you, Brett. I'm sorry that our politicians failed you. I'm sorry that the VA failed you. Most of all, I'm sorry that I failed you. I failed to get for you an honor which is rightfully yours. You deserve better than me. You know, this is a nation. Every vet deserves better than what they got. That's it.